Hey, this is Church from Church's Intake. So, um, let's talk about these different spirits and spiritual discernment, all right? Um, so, me as a person, I'm generally like an outgoing person, uh, happy-go-lucky, if you want to say something like that. Um, very respectful to most people. Uh, I like to have I like to have people having fun and seeing smiles on people's faces. By being this type of person, you attract negative spirits and negative people. And um, like I was saying before, we had a shift in the matrix. We had a shift. God basically said it. You know, we're in Revelations right now, so we had a shift. And with this shift, um, you can see on people like um, negative type spirits. Now, these spirits could be like anger, someone being jealous of you, someone being envious of you, you know, stuff like that. Those are those are demonic spirits. And people that gossip, that's another demonic spirit. Gossip is a spirit. And if you know these things, let's address them like they should be. So we should acknowledge these as demonic spirits. You shouldn't be gossiping on people. You shouldn't be envious of another. You shouldn't have um, you shouldn't have anger issues like that. And if you do, that means you 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 have something within you. You need to get right with God. That means you need to to pray. You need to learn how to subdue the energy that is taking over you. And um, a lot of people aren't registering this. They're just saying, oh, I'm angry because something happened to me like this, that, and the third. Not knowing that they woke up with an angry spirit on them from the beginning. And like, I never wake up. All right, I have times that I'm, I can be angered. You know, but it, it's it's a short time span. It's not like something that lingers around. Like you kind of want to address it and find out the solution to not be angry no more. So if it was like someone that was in my way, you know, making me mad or something, angered me, I would be angry. I might say something to him or something, but I'm going to walk away, right? And then I'm going to let this stuff de-escalate. And then maybe eventually, I mean, unless we don't see eye to eye, I'll try to stay away from that person or, you know what I mean? Make amends and then let it be what it is. But I'm going to let the anger, so I'm going to get rid of the anger. I don't let anger stay on me like that. I Like I tell my wife sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, yo, we're going to have arguments. Sometimes we do. We get mad at each other. But I try to tell her like, you know, like, if we're mad, like, don't let it be for longer than a short period of time. Obviously, once we address it or whatever, and um, we're going to be all right and everything. So that that process is like, I try to tell my wife, like, you know, don't keep anger on you because anger is not going to work out well for anybody when it comes down to it, you know, so anger also, you start getting more angered, you start having, um, it just starts to trigger within you and then you have a spirit and then like these little things start to trigger that spirit and then now more things anger you and you should, you should just acknowledge that you have a problem. It's a demon, demonic, it's demonic. Anger is a demon, like there's righteous anger and then there's demonic anger and anger that's on you and you can't release that anger. That means you have a problem within yourself. You have things that you need to clear up that something caused this. Maybe it's some trauma from back in the day or whatever. You have to find out what is causing that trauma or causing you to just be angry towards just people just being around you and stuff. And um, that's one thing. And then the gossiping stuff, you know, people be gossiping and stuff like that. Stay away from gossipers because that energy right there is going to have you taking their their energy.
So if there's people that's like, yo, such and such do this, that, and the third, and da 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 da, did you know this, that, and that? you'd be like, yo, dog, like, I don't want to know about such and such's problems. I ain't got them problems, and I don't want them problems to come on me because people don't understand the way that this energy works is, you know what I mean? When karma's going to come, and karma always does, that's God, God's natural law, law of the land, karma, you reap what you sow. As you do, it shall be done back to you. So if you out here gossiping on others, yeah, that's going to come back sevenfold, tenfold. And um, yeah, people going to be after you. So if you're in that type of circle or you got friends that's in that type of circle, but you're not of that, you need to part away from that because when karma comes, it's going to hit you as well as everyone else that was indulging in that. And that's why you have to separate from some people. We in the time that we can't, I got a lot of people that so-called friends, buddies, loved ones, family or whatever, but I don't know what they do outside of me being with them at the time that I'm with them. And um, sometimes God tells me that I have to step back from people, watch from the outside and observe. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a happy-go-lucky type of person. I don't really carry these these negative spirits around me and i don't want them around me so that's why i separate from those people that do that and now that we in a real crunch time i ain't trying to be around no one that's gonna stop my process with god from elevation so as i said before um watch your surroundings um uh, watch the people start discerning like when a person look like mm, like that with that face oh that's anger that's an angry spirit that's not good and then like say if you start talking to somebody like say you had a friend at work or whatever you kind of tell them a conversation right this is how you can find out jealousy and envy right so you tell them about a scenario be like oh something you know i had this happen and then something happened bad like something bad happened right when the story that you told them right and then you just might see like a little smirk on their face or like a little, mm, yeah. That's because they jealous of you. They got the little, they want to see you doing, they want to see you doing bad. And they ain't going to tell you. They're going to act like, oh, you know, but they're happy with inside of them. You can register that on their face. You can see it when you're giving them a conversation. Like when you're giving someone good news and then they have a, like a sad type of face and this is a, your supposed friend and they're not happy. But when you give them bad news and they tend to have nice little smirks like, oh, it's going to be great. You know, uh, don't worry about it. God's got you. That's the envy. That's the jealousy. Learn to register who has what. If your friends are your friends or are they just there to see you fall or are they waiting for you to fall? And that's why they're in your circle. So learn your circle, learn who's really with you and who's really not with you. And you will progress. And definitely um, you won't have that negative energy around you. Try to stay positive, get around more positive people, change your friend group if that's the case um, and, and elevate. You know what I mean? We, we on this purpose right now. So uh I'm trying to get to the top of my purpose and uh, I ain't going to let nobody stop me. So like I said before, there's a lot of people out here trying to do some dirt and um, we need to start being equipped. You know what I mean? Especially children of Christ. You know what I mean? The true children of Christ. We got we to gotta be equipped and we're going to start getting in on these people and let's uh, start um, awakening and um, start uh calling a spade a spade so when the person's showing you that negative energy and everything be like yo what's up why are you so mad at me why are you looking mad why are you feel disappointed like why are you you know what i mean like confront them and then they go oh no nothing man you know something at home or whatever you know what i mean and that's going to be a time when you're going to have to miss, uh, assess <laughs> Your, your your friendship or whatever ship you got with this type of person to either you're going to deal with them and keep on dealing with them or you're going to separate from them and um 
nine times out of ten, if they're that type of person, you, you're going to separate from them because they're going to stagnate you and stop your elevation. If you want success and you want to keep on going, you got to release some people. As I said again, God bless you. This is Church's Intake. Have a nice day.